Right, hello guys, how are we all doing? Corinium Warrior here with you, and welcome to this map tour of Michigan Farms by Taylor Farms and Salty Shorty. Taylor Farms was also the guy responsible for the Frankenmuth map. But let's have a look at Taylor Farms and Michigan map and see what the description says. It says, welcome to Michigan Farms map. This map is a Michigan USA style farming map. The map has 34 fields ranging from small to large in size. There are four farms located on the map, eastern, southern, western and central. You must buy the land before you can use or sell the buildings. There are five forest areas on the map for logging. Water can be found at the water tank in the town for a small fee. River and large stream run through the map. There are 100 wooden toys, 5 sugar beets, and 5 small model Massey Ferguson 1155 tractors on the map to be found. Some will require some creativity to reach. There are multiple cell points, production facilities placed in the map, and a train. Map has custom growth calendar alfalfa crop added and integrated with animals. The terrain on the map is mostly flat with rolling hills, valleys and ditches. Precision farming custom soil map added. Custom sugar beet piler factory for added realism with sugar beet harvesting when owned by the player. The player, the piler, sorry, will give you tear dirt. Take dirt back to field and dump. Dirt piles can be leveled and will disappear when using any field working implements. If not owned by the player, it will act as a normal cell point without the tear dirt. Tear dirt fill type added. Soybeans on rows. Some crop textures altered for a more realistic look. Environment lighting upgrade. American flag net wrap for round bales. Seasonal objects added. 69 trees under the tree limit for the map. Enjoy the map. So that's the description, guys. Let's crack on and have a look at the actual map itself. Right, so here we are, guys, on Michigan Farms. It is the map by Taylor Farms and Salty Shorty. It is 272.45 megabytes to download. As we're on the main farm, let's start off. Uh, here's your farmhouse just here with sleep trigger and wardrobe trigger just on the side. Yeah, sleep here. Okay. All right. So, the PDA actually looks like this. So here's your PDA just here. And what you start off with in new farmer mode, you start with field 27, 28, 29, and 20, and one of the farm areas just here. Now this farm area just here will cost you 80,736 to buy. Now in farm manager and start from scratch, you don't own any land or any of the vehicles. And the farmhouse will not be here. So as the farmhouse won't be there, let's talk about the slot counts in new farmer which is what i'm on doing the map tour the slot count is going to be 1271 slots in farm manager and start from scratch that will come down to 1001 now bearing in mind guys that also is some hidden slots 
on the map as well which is the farm buildings on the other farms but in new farmer mode farm manager and start from scratch you can't sell those buildings unless you own the land so you have to own the land first to buy and remove those buildings so what equipment do we start off with in new farmer we start with a john deere 7810 in me medium tractors in large tractors you start off with a 9570rx a 9570r and an 8rx 410 now it is a john deere based farm by the looks of it so that's pretty good that's your large tractors right in trucks you get the mac anthem six by four harvesters you get the case ih axle flow 9250 you get a roper panther 2 cars you get the lizard pickup and you also get the john deere little run around car trailers you get the crampy sks 301050 planters you get the john deere 1775mt you get in cedars you get the vaderstat rapid 800s disc harrows you get the case speed tiller Cultivators, you got the Rosalmesh K12200. Beat technology, you get the header for the Roper. You get the Capello Diamond 12 corn header for the case. You get the Case IH 3162 Terraflex Draper 45 foot. Sprayers, you get the Mega 1200 litre sprayer and you also get the mega 1200 liter tank fertilizer spreaders you get the amazon zgts 10001 which is your 42 meter fertilizer spreader that's that so yeah there is no silo on the farms there are no animal pens or pastures included either but, uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad so one of your sheds just here with your equipment in it one another one Here's your little workshop area, your roper and everything else, all your vehicles as well. You've got another shed just here with all your other equipment and tractors in it. I said it was a John Deere farm, but it's a mix and match of equipment. If you just want to go purely green, I'm sure you can do uh, <clears throat> and sell a lot of that. But that's, that's it. Collectibles, there are, yes. Um, contracts are available as well on the area. So let's have a look at the field prices as well. But also, bearing in mind, Right, this is the PDA on what it looks like. So the field prices aren't too bad. Uh, do to do. Right, that farmland there is three hundred and eighty-six thousand seven hundred and twelve. Plot thirty-nine, two hundred and eighty-three thousand. So they're not that expensive. Forest areas, that's one hundred and fifty-one thousand two hundred and forty-eight. Little one just here, that's forty-eight thousand. 972 this one there 126,000 
you've got 189,000 and then you've got that one field there which is like 541,000 which I think is the largest plot to buy so yeah so it's not too the prices aren't actually too bad there are areas on the map that you cannot buy so that all the darker shaded areas you can the lighter shaded areas you can't buy at all so you can even buy some of the production chain areas at the top if you want to and everything else but yeah so that's that there is a biogas plant but we'll talk about that when we get to it but i like the way i like the layout of it that, uh, and how it is as well but also i like this now i don't know about you but it says E pluribus annum sequerias peninsulum annoinum circumspice. Now that is Latin. Now I did put that into Google Translate and it translated it to if you are looking for one of many, look around the Annoina Peninsula. Now, I'm wondering, is that a clue to where a lot of the collectibles could be? Maybe, maybe not. Now, I'll leave that up to you guys to figure out. Now, I have put some money into the pot already because we're going to need a fair bit to buy some areas that I can show you on the way round. So let's go and jump into the pickup and do the tour. So we're going to be heading round, we're starting off in the bottom area of the map which is the southern area. So this is the southern farm just here so we are going to be heading in a clockwise direction okay, everything else uh, I forgot to show you the added in textures and everything else but we'll do that as soon as we've been to the first little area which is just here on, coming up on the left. <coughs> so here is your sugar cane, sugar mill, sugar factory, just here. All right, so standard crop in. sugar out and obviously your purchase point just here Ooh. didn't want to do that let's Ooh. okay let's okay so let's do that So that's just sugar factory, just there. Now just over here is your sugar beet pilots. Now, if you remember in the description, you can use them as normal cell points or you can use them as production points to get your tear dirt and spread on your fields. And there are three of these up here and they are 15,000 pounds each. So let's buy one. Okay, and let's have a look at the production points. So there we go, sugar beet tear dirt. So obviously it takes sugar beets in. Uh, 
10,000 sugar beets will give you right, 10,000 and your extras for your tear dirt. And that is 36,000 cycles a month, which is quite good actually. Quite nice. So, yeah, so that's. Uh, now let's see about selling. Let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah, yes. Okay. I wasn't quite over. Well, I said there's three of those on the bill on the area. So you've got one, two, and three. So as we're in the build menu now, right, there are no modded in vehicles that the map maker has added in, but there are some buildings and textures. So in sheds, you have the Michigan Farms map mod. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six additional sheds. There's nothing in silos. There's nothing in extensions. There's nothing in containers. And nothing in tools. In farmhouses, you've got the Michigan Farms map mod. Productions. There aren't. And there is one. You've got the sugar beet piler in productions. In your factories right, selling points there isn't any in selling points there's nothing in greenhouses nothing in orchards nothing in generators there's no added animals at all because there's no pens right in decoration there was nothing in in fences, nothing in lights, nothing in others. Right, under landscaping, nothing in sculpting, nothing in painting, it's just your standard paint textures. Trees, obviously you've got all your standard base game, in-game trees. There's nothing added there. In plants, there are additional plants that have been added. So you've got a small bush, a bush medium, a bush big, a bush super big, blueberry short, blueberry big, small weed, a pera, whatever that is, a uh, Chinapododium, uh, a Circeum, a uh, Pababaga, oh, pronunciations are probably all over the place, and you've got a small meadow growth stage, you've got a meadow middle growth stage, you've got dry grass, which is three stages for your grass growth. But that's all that has been added in by the map maker. But anyway, that's your sugar pilers and your sugar factory. Let's head out now. It's gonna head over. Crazy Brit on a map tour. So we're going to head <clears throat> right just here. Yeah. 
into the first of the cell points. So a lot of the cell points and production chains, they're all across the top of the map. This is the grain silo south, if, I'm, if I remember. Yeah, it's your grain silo south cell point. So that's that one just there. There's your grain silo south cell point. So we're going to come out. So it is a mainly flat terrain with like rolling and sweeping hills and ditches, but texturing, yeah, it does look pretty good. So obviously you've got a lake there as well. A little housing estate just around here. Pretty good. Yeah, there are sugar beets collectibles, tractor collectibles, and everything else as well. Come out. And we're going to head in to just here, which is the western part of the farm area. So, which is just here. And this is 104,000. And 76 to buy. So it's by the land. We now own the land, so you can obviously you can sell all the buildings off of here if you wanted to and put your own in. There are static standard buildings that you can't get rid of. can't use any of the buildings unless you own the land. That's that little area. That's the western farm area. head into the central area now. Well, I would say it's the central area. It looks a lot bigger though, so yeah. Yeah, so here's the central part of the farm. And this plot of land will cost you 134,532 uh, 134, to buy. So, yeah, pretty much central. We've got the main farm area where we started. We did the sugar, sugar mill, and sugar beet pilers into the grain mill south and we come up to the western farm the central farm we're now going to head out and we're going to go all the way along the top of the map so if you wanted this as your start area you could nice big fields as well plenty of scope to add extra things in as well. Bridge across the river and everything else. But like I said guys, a lot of your production points, they're all up here on the top of the map.
go ahead and in to another cell point cell silo and this is where we are here so here's your other it's your grain pool east so there is a train that is running and it does go to the frankenmuth so obviously you've got your loading for goods there you've got your rent train just here so whilst that's doing that so obviously your loading and unloading just in there as well you could use it as a silo storage and then on the track make sure we don't get run over you're loading and unloading just there as well now we've rented the train and it was a kilometer away train seems to be a little slow even though and even though it runs in a straight line but here we go the train is arriving so which way is it going to be coming from go it's coming in so the train comes in from here and then you can run all the way along down and on to frank and moose that way so yeah so there's your train so you can get into it and use it all as well and then do it as standard so the train does work Let's send it back so that's your grain grain pool east so yeah your grain pool east you're gonna head out We're going to head into the grocery mart, which is <coughs> one of your sale points. Uh, here we go. Sale point is just round the back. Come. It's virtually pretty much all in a straight line from here. Straight all the way down so into your biomass heating plant just there you've got a little area just just behind it that you can actually buy this building isn't anything on it so if you buy the land Twenty-eight grand. So we own the land now, but we can't sell this building. It's nothing comes up. That's all. You go into landscape, go into demolish, and it stays white. even with your biomass heating plant so you can buy you can buy the land but you can't sell 
or get rid of any of them. See, look, you can't sell it. And that's the problem that I find with a lot of, a lot of these. If you buy, buy the land and everything else, there's no, there's no scope there to do anything. You can't get rid of the biomass heating plant. You can't get rid of that building there. So there's virtually nothing that you can do. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, this, this is just me. Uh, but on a lot of maps, I actually like to use a lot of the modded production chains. and replace a lot of the things but here you go so here's your grape grape processing plant you can buy the land for 28,000 however now I don't do a lot of grapes on the map at all so to me I'd rather get rid of grape processing unit but you can't you can't sell the grape processing unit to have a blank spot that's like that on all of the other production chains on this map at all probably me being picky but that's just my opinion in how i think so that's your grape processing plant here's your oil mill just there another one of the production chains <clears throat> to the shop and you've got your shop trigger just here round the back you have your little workshop just here dealer and also this is the respawn area so any st stuck vehicles or anything else like that they will respawn at the shop so there's your shop head over the little bridge over the river let's have a look read this site what does it say waterfill location so, yeah so you can get your water here for a fee and that will charge you so you've got your gas station just here And then around the back of the gas station, you have your bakery just here. And so there's your bakery. You have your fast food restaurant sell point just there. down and over. Now here's the Michigan Farmers Market sell point. So obviously bales of cotton or products and then all your loose products in there as well. Michigan Farmers Market. Come over. to the grain mill, which is the Michigan grain mill. So it is a production point. So obviously by its 96,000 standard in-game price. Ooh, collectibles. Product in just there. Nothing around the back.
and then your product out just there. I'm going to head over. Into the bowling alley. Which is another another cell point. Just here. Your bowling alley cell point. Got your tailor's shop just there, which is a production point. For your fabric and clothing. And just over from there, we have the restaurant sale point. Your restaurant sale point is just there. And then here is your cereal factory. Just here. Another production point. Ooh, no collisions on the uh, signpost. Okay. And just here is another sale point which is the pizzeria so that's your pizzeria sale point just there so from there and it's half, half halfway going around it right. here is your spinnery production point cut across the fields no we shouldn't but hey into your sawmill production point. And standard, if you don't want it, you can use it as a cell, cell point. So you would in just there, the production point, buy point just there. And then obviously your wood chips just there. <coughs> Excuse me. And here is your carpentry factory, just here, another production point then there's your dairy production point just there Go ahead just into here this is your grain silo north cell point just there so where started we started off down here at the main farm come out we did the sugar mill all your sugar pilers into the grain silo south we came up into the western farm across to the central farm and we came up up to the grain pool east with the train then your grocery mart your biomass Great processing, the oil mill, cross to the vehicle shop. Then we did the gas station, the farmer's market, the fast food restaurant, the bakery, cross to the grain mill, the red marble bowling sell point, tailor shop, restaurant. Pizzeria, the cereal factory, we did the spinnery, up to the sawmill, carpentry, the dairy. We're now here at the grain mill north, or the grain silo north, which is just there. We're going to hop out across the grass. To the animal dealer which is just here obviously your buy point for all your animals but there are no animals pens on the map at all so but that's where your animal dealer is and then you come to the uh, 
bail point, bail cell point for the animal dealer. And then across the road from there, you have the Eastern Farm area. Another, another one of the areas. So this is like the farm, fourth farm area, which is just here. And that will set you back 87,300 to buy. And that's that area. So we're just going to head over the road now. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Hey! Mind the ditches. into the biogas plant so obviously your slurry in just there and you don't own biogas plant at all if you need it if you want it you've got to buy it so obviously you digest it out what is just there so Let's have a look. Obviously at the top, you've got two big, large silo bunkers. In there. Right. That's it. Well, we don't own any production chains on the start so when you start you've got no no production chains that you own at all so let's jump down right now this is the large one so go into productions come down factories So this is the large one, which is 1,180,000. Now, in but you don't own the land. So let's, you've got the triggers up. Well, the cell point triggers. Well, this is far more expensive than So for this, it will cost you 1,622,616 to buy. Now that means it's buying the land as well. So let's buy the land first and see what happens. Okay. So we're going to buy the land. 122,616. Yes. Okay. So has that given us the production facility? No, it hasn't given us the production facility. So you can buy the land, but you don't get the biogas plant. And the biogas plant now is 1,500,000. So for that whole area, that's just cost 1,500,000. 600 odd thousand to buy which is expensive now can we sell and get rid of anything it all remains but go to let's get demolish let's go to remove Okay, yes. So it still stays. But yeah, that's biogas plant for you there, guys. And that is pretty much the map. 
Michigan Farms by Taylor Farms and Salty Shorty. Anyhow guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little map tour. I've enjoyed making it. So, if you wish to share the video, please be my guest and go ahead. But, uh, anyhow guys, thanks for watching. I've been Corinian Warrior. Remember, stay safe, happy gaming, and I'll catch you all on the other side. Until then, bye-bye for now.